Let's get to a bit more analysis on this with Harjip Singh Bangal, who's an immigration lawyer here in the UK. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. I'd like to get your thoughts in just a moment on what possible solutions London and Paris do have to deal with this. But if first we could just take a step back, you know, after this tragic incident on the English Channel, you know, 12 dead, including children, a pregnant woman, 20,000 this year crossing, dozens dying in the process. You know, not many years ago, this simply did not happen. Why is the situation so bad? Uh, the methods before were different. So uh, the primary access to the UK was via lorry uh, for these gangs, and they used to use lorries. As the security tightened up around lorries, they switched their methods. Also, certain chinks began to show in the UK immigration system after about 2010, mainly the lack of a fast-track asylum system, which was scrapped by the last government, and also um, the fact that delays began to happen and a backlog began to build up in the decision-making process. So we've got many hundreds, well, we've got hundreds and thousands of case, cases that are waiting a year over a decision, some even waiting two years, and hence creating delays. Therefore, the gangs received a selling point. They had a selling point. That, the first selling point being that you can't claim asylum unless you put foot into the UK, so, and that they're the only ones who can take you there. And secondly, if you do get to the UK, they won't kick you out because one, under the last government, removals were down at one time, down from about 60,000 to only about 3,000 enforced removals. So there, there was a lack of fear of being removed. Also, the fact that they won't decide your case for over a year. Um, you know, you'll be, you, until then, you'll get hotel housing and uh, you'll be sort of looked after almost. So this was a selling point for the gangs. And hence, the method has changed via small boats and uh, instead of lorries. Mm -hmm. oh, I see. That's really interesting. And so we do now have this new Labour government and they've inherited a system that is, frankly, completely not functioning and that is broken and they've scrapped the previous administration's plans to deport migrants to Rwanda which was meant to be a deterrent. What options does Keir Starmer's government have to do things differently? Well the first thing that they should be doing is to be considering France's offer. This is a second offer made by France for them to open a processing centre in France where people can stay in France and claim asylum to the UK. This would not prevent every single channel crossing, but would prevent pregnant women and children definitely from crossing over as they wouldn't take the journey then and wouldn't come in the grip of these gangs. Why would you pay a gang 5,000 euros to cross a channel dangerously at loss of life when you can just walk up the road and claim asylum for free and wait for your application to be decided? Italy have done the same thing. They've made a processing center with their closest neighbor, Albania. So they've seen the light in that respect and they've done that. Um, Preeti Patel, um, who ironically was knocked out of the leadership race today, she refused France's offer when she was Home Secretary. And once again, recently, France have made an offer this week. And let's see if um, the UK government take that up. But that won't smash the whole gangs as such. We need elite task force to grab these gangs. If you've seen the, the videos of the migrants trying to get in the boats, this is an organised crime. They just don't get up one morning and decide, we'll get on a boat and we'll decide to cross to the UK. They're given times. The boats are brought in um, by people smuggling gangs. This is all organized and they're, they're paying for this service. So it's really important to catch these smugglers with the help of the French because without their cooperation, it's not going to happen and create elite units. And when they do catch people smugglers, instead of sending them to three years or four years, as is currently the norm, um, which, if anything, incentivizes people smugglers, they should send them away for life and let them know that they're not messing around. Harjip Singh Bangal, immigration lawyer here in the UK. Really good to get your thoughts on this today. Thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate it.